All right, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to our latest episode that we're going to be showing you guys how to connect your Atari trackball to your uh, RetroPry or Windows PC. In this video, we're going to do Windows, but in a future video, I will also cover uh, RetroPry or Linux or you know, Emulac or some of the other Linux emulations. But uh, for today, we'll do Windows. And we're going to be using this uh, nifty iCode device. This is the two-port version of the X Plus uh, Pro. Um, these are coming out uh, later in January, but uh, it is also going to work with your standard Pro and X Plus editions with hardware level uh, 10 and above, uh, which are now available starting uh, December 31st. And that's what the default we're going to be shipping. But in this video, we're going to cover the Atari trackball. You can see this is the Atari trackball. It's got a, a button on the right or the left, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed. And then on the side here, it's got a little switch that can uh, emulate a joystick or trackball. But the key here is we want to be in true trackball mode. So I've got it set to trackball. You can see there's a little text here. It's kind of hard to read, but you can see it says trackball versus joystick. And we've got it on the trackball side. So, uh, but before we get started, let me get you acquainted to this little nifty device. This device um, uh, is a two-port version. The two-port version is the only version that's going to work with trackballs. Um, so just make sure that you know the four-port version, unfortunately, does not support it yet. But on the two-port version, you've got basically two ports um, that are Atari joystick ports or trackball ports. I'm going to go ahead and quickly connect... Uh, a joystick just to show you um, how a joystick operates. So here's a you know Atari joystick. As you can see, I just connected it, and as I move, uh, the little display shows my movement. As I press the buttons, uh, it uh, it interacts. And then these other buttons are extra buttons that you can map to uh, start, select, option, or other gamepad buttons. Um, there's actually a total of 13 uh, total. Uh, functions here. You got six here, seven and eight on the, this uh, side here. You've also got a little gamepad uh, up, down, left, right. And also if you press down on this little cursor, you also have another function. And each of these are programmable. Uh, so you can go actually go into program mode and show the current mappings by pushing the green button. And uh, you can see these are what I've got things mapped to. Uh, but uh, they can be remapped uh, pretty easily through the menus. And you can map them either to um, um, keyboard functions um, or, uh, uh, or uh, joystick buttons. So those are how they can be mapped because on some systems uh, that use keyboard, uh, you can you know, press these for quick uh, commands uh, from, a, from a keyboard perspective. But uh, let me go ahead and exit the menu here and get back to the main menu. So you can see this is port 1. And then we've got port 2 here, uh, which functions with port 2. Now, um, when I push to port 1, I'm going to go ahead and show you in Windows. I'm going to go to this uh, uh, okay, controller settings. So you can see um, once I am there. Sorry about that. Here, let me just do a quick reset here. Um, all right, so good, we're in business. So here's uh, my uh, joystick, as you can see, even the buttons fire. And then if I push these other buttons here, uh, you can see it's button two, button uh, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all mapped currently to these buttons. And then these also are mapped uh, to some additional buttons, but they can be, as I mentioned, remapped. Um, the other nice function with these is uh, I want to show you how it maps the keys. So here I've got a text editor. So uh, you can see if I move this thing up, notice the cursor is moving up, left, right. So these are actually um, acting like keyboard functions because uh, that's what I've mapped them to. So if I move up, down, left, right, they function as, as that. Um, so you can either map them to keyboard or joystick, which is very cool. Now, for the main uh, video, we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, how trackballs work. So I'm going to bring the trackball back here. 
and I'm going to disconnect my joystick and I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, the trackball instead Let's see if we can do this well all right so you know first off uh, you'll notice that the trackball uh, has a, a standard joystick mode uh, but you know what you want to do is uh, use the modes here to switch the settings so these two blue and yellow buttons will change uh, modes so I'm going to go this is a driving controller which I'll show you later but then one more time here we go uh, I'm in trackball mode and the resolution is 18 and the display is uh, paused uh, on purpose because for trackball we need as much speed as possible um, so notice that uh, now when I move the trackball my mouse is actually moving so as I spin you know the the trackball is emulating a mouse this is, this is exactly what we want so this device can actually emulate a mouse uh, using your trackball and this will make it be able to work with uh, as a trackball in MAMI and other emulation so just to you know show you real quick uh, here I've got uh, Altair uh, and Missile Command as one of my uh, favorite games here I'm gonna go ahead and reset um, and notice on the top it says uh, stick mode uh, this is a standard default but if you got Atari 8-bit uh, control T on the keyboard um, uh, switches it to trackball mode and that's what I'm going to do here and now I've got uh, the trackball working I'm going to go ahead and push start and here we go so whoops I gotta uh, first activate the window All right. All right. a little late to the party but that's all right but quite uh, responsive, and you can adjust the sensitivity. So as you can see, it's going to move left to right quickly. And I can even do uh, sweeps across the you know? So very uh, nice uh, working trackball, just like the original Atari 800. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to go ahead and reset. All right, so that was the uh, trackball. Oops. All right, so let's go ahead and um, quickly show you also the uh, driving controller while we're at it. I'm gonna put this away. The driving controller looks a little bit like the Atari paddles. By the way, that this device does uh, support paddles as well. But uh, notice that the uh, driving controller says driving on it and uh, it doesn't stop, you know, it keeps spinning. So this is like a spinner device uh, that sometimes you can see quite expensive on for MAMI devices. But uh, on the Atari, these spinners uh, were actually had 16 different positions uh, for the full rotation. You know, the modern spinners uh, and the ones you see on uh, like games like Tempest and others uh, back then had a little bit higher resolution, you know, uh, but uh, this is pretty good for uh, you know your standard Atari games as well and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it port 1 here and I'm gonna switch modes I'm gonna reset um, go back to um, um, let me see here plug it back in go to port uh, driving controller all right so in the driving controller you can see um, you know, it can support two driving controls, but as I spin this, it will spin um, across. But notice also it's moving the mouse on the top there. So you can have it emulate a mouse as well. So that makes it work with uh, uh, programs like uh, Tempest and, and um, in, um, uh, MAMI and so on. But it also uh, uh, works in a joystick mode as well. So uh, if you use, for example, Stella, you want to keep it in joystick mode, uh, but it will automatically detect these. And you can control the resolution uh, by going this way or that way. Now it makes bigger jumps. If I uh, lower the resolution maybe to 3, it makes smaller jumps as I move uh, across. So that's a little bit about the driving controller. And then the paddles uh, work the same way. You have to do a reset while you connect the paddles. And the paddles on this device 
does have ability to control the mouse as well, but mostly it's around joystick, uh, the X and Y angles on the paddle, and those can be mapped as well. All right, that does it for today's episode. If you enjoyed this new device, uh, give me a thumbs up, and uh, um, they're available at www.ico.com. You can also buy them on Amazon and eBay, but I hope uh, you choose to go to um, ico.com. Um, that's the best place to get it, and it's got the fastest available shipping. All right, enjoy.